Welcome to Highline Excel 2013 class video number 26. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and this is the second workbook for week four, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video we want to talk about a common task that you may have to do in Excel. We want to compare two lists. And there's two ways we can do this. We can ask the question, is the item in the list or is the item not in the list? All right, in the last few videos for week four, we've been doing lookup. So this is a type of lookup formula we're going to do. Now for us, for this first example, we have two examples. We're going to ask the question, has the prospective customer made it to our master list due to our sales phone calls? So here's our list we have on our computer. These are prospective customers. We've been phoning them. Here's the company's master customer list. And we're interested in asking the question, is this item over in our master customer list? So for this first one, we can see that it is. For some of these other ones, the second one in particular, it's not in the list. And we want a formula to tell us, yes, it's in the list. No, it's not in the list. Well, we can use the match function. Oh, yeah, the match function is a lookup function we give it this lookup value, that's the customer we've been calling, and we ask the question, are you in the master list? Control shift down arrow F4, and we're going to have to do comma zero for exact match. Well, what will this do? If it finds a match, it'll give us the relative position. Well, that doesn't sound too helpful. Control enter double click and send it down yes but it gives us a totally awesome pattern when it's a number that means this item is in our master list when it's an NA it means it's not in the list notice I double click and I sent that down the active cell I'm gonna hit F2 and now we're gonna edit this since it's a number we're interested in we use is number it's a logical formula delivers true when it sees a number and false when it sees anything else. All right, so I've edited this formula in the active cell to populate this edited formula into the highlighted cells. I hold control and enter. Oh, that's beautiful. True means produce fast and fresh. Our sales calls have paid off. They are now in the master list. Same with veggies and fruit delight. Now, what would you do with this once you're done? Well, it depends on what you want to do. If you wanted to simply like sort and get them to the top or delete the falses or whatever, we could use the sort feature. Now, I have some data right there touching the data set, so I'm going to highlight Control Shift Down Arrow, highlight the entire data set, go up to Data, Sort, and I'm going to tell it to sort the is item in list two, and I'm going to sort largest to smallest, and click OK. So the trues are at the top. These are the ones I'm interested in. These are the ones I'm not interested in. You could do what you want, delete them, or you could even use filter. Now, I do have a playlist of uh, videos about comparing and merging lists because it's such a common topic. So if you want to see some other examples, go look there. But for this video, we want to go look at our second example because it's not always the case that you want to know if the item is in the other list. Sometimes you want to say, see if it's not. Now here I've already control shift down arrow delete. Pretend you didn't see that. Here in this example, we want to compare two lists and ask the question, is it not in the list? Our ultimate question here is for our library management. Is the book missing from our library shelves? Here's the books counted in our inventory count, and here's our library database. So we want to ask the question, is the book from our database, has it been counted? Meaning, is this book? also in the list of our inventory count. Well, of course, we use equals match, comma, and this whole list. Control shift down arrow F4, comma, zero, because it may not be sorted. Control enter, and double click and send it down. There we go. The missing books are the NAs. F2, and instead of is number, we're interested in NA is an A. 
logical function delivers true when it sees an NA. Hey, you never thought you'd have a situation where NA was good? Well, it's not. It means the book is missing. But for us, we now have control enter, a true that tells us, yes, this book is missing, and we have to go investigate or phone the customer and, and uh, get the book back. Now, one more thing. Notice true and false. That means if we didn't want to have true or false, but we wanted some text instead, we could simply copy this logical test in edit mode, control C, escape, and do if logical test, control V, comma, value if true, that means it's missing, double quote. That'll be our value if true, value if false, something like on shelves. Close parentheses, control enter, maybe expand this, double click and send it down, and there we go. So missing, and then again, you could sort or filter or do what you want. All right, so uh, pretty straightforward. If you are checking is the item in the list, use is number and match. Not in list, is N A and match. All right, we'll see you next video.